How do you account from Rob's first half to second half, completely different performances? Yeah, Rob was not very sharp in the first half. And, um, um, you know, if part of me feels for him and part of me feels for me. <laughs> You know, uh, you can see it in his eyes. He kind of gets in a little bit of a funk, and you know, you just don't know what goes through sometimes a young man's, you know, head. Could be a lot. You know, hey, this is my last year. Hey, I, you know, want to play, you know, after college. Hey, you know, I got to carry the team. You know, hey, I'm not shooting the ball well. Hey, I'm tired of being hurt. You know, so you just try to look in his eyes and get a sense. You know, and I didn't know. At one point, I thought he was like not well like he missed a shot and stood across from their bench and um, you know first shot was a bad shot then he took another bad shot and he just wasn't sharp defensively and um, you know even in the uh, uh, UAB game he wasn't sharp offensively but he played very good defense so uh, halftime I got on you know and he's the fifth year senior and he's captain and I jumped him pretty hard you know just basically you know you got to lead. You got to. You got to. You got to get your head out of your behind, and uh, you know we need you. Um, and we all understand that. It's not like I'm going to bench him for the half, but you know I needed to shake him up a little bit, and hopefully everyone else will fall in line because there are some other guys that are kind of shell shocked a little bit. Cotton missed a lot of practice with his concussion, and comes back. He leads you with 17 points. Goes six of eight on the floor. Did he surprise you? Did he give you more than you expected? Well, I expected him to have energy because you have a break. So, you, you know, all of a sudden you're not as banged up. You feel a little fresh. Um, but you weren't. I wasn't sure. That's why I didn't start him. I wasn't sure what you would get. Um, so I didn't want to put too much pressure on him starting right away. So it, it was great to have him back. Uh, maybe he should hit his head like every other week. Um, because he played pretty good. Maybe I need, you know, Rob to hit his head. Um, but, uh, you know, the... the Rob hadn't practiced in three weeks, two weeks. I mean, you see the you see the injury report, two weeks at least. Friday was the first time in about two weeks, two and a half weeks, he's practiced, and so, you know, he's gained some weight. It's his timing's been off. Um, you know, all that factors in. Um, uh, so uh, that's frustrating for him. It's frustrating for the staff to, um, you know, have him out of practice like that. Jalen Jones also goes six for eight and seemed to play with, I don't know if it was more of a mean streak or aggressiveness. Can you talk a little about just his growth and development into a more of a veteran player? Yeah, uh, well, he's not a veteran yet, but he's, he's, he's certainly maturing. And, and I think that, uh, uh, you know, as back when we played Colorado State, you know, he, he, you know was, he, un, he has more discipline to his game, more maturity to his game. And he certainly has the talent. You know, and uh, but talent without discipline is a waste. So he needs the discipline, and he's he's gaining that. And I think he appreciates that. I think he understands that, and I think that he's embracing that. Uh, he's gone from a guy who wasn't, you know, embracing coaching to a guy who uh, is 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 embraced coaching. And uh, uh, it's neat to see his growth. It's neat to see, you know, Cannon's played a little bit more. Leslie made some. You know, key plays. Um, you know, Ryan. You know, Ryan did a lot of good things out there. But then, you know, then they'll foul. <laughs> you know, you're like you're in good position, and he fouls, and they don't think they foul, and they foul. You know, Cannon fouled. He, you know, got him in a double team, and that's the experience factor. But uh, I, I'm 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 proud of the way they responded in the second half, and hopefully, uh, we'll um, you know play better um, on Wednesday. And the eighth straight conference loss, though, and the TCU win was definitely in there. But, and I know you've said you're just looking at the next game, next practice. But, but is it starting to wear on you? No. I, it, listen, I'm the I'm a guy who's been head coach of North Carolina eight, that went eight twenty. You know, the big picture. I got a beautiful wife, healthy kids. I got a nice roof over my house. I got a great team to work with. Uh, it's all about perspective. Um, we, I'm trying to lead these kids each and every day and through, you know, I think good faith, you wake up and you say, you know what, it's these kids I care about and this staff and my staff has been unbelievable. 
Uh, it's a veteran staff. We've been through things like this. And, you know, if this is the worst thing that happens in all of our lives, we've got a pretty good life. Um, and yet, you know, I know people will say, well, you know, your season's over. We still believe we can win the rest of our games and go to Memphis and win. And if we don't, I shouldn't, if I don't, I shouldn't be coaching and nor should our guys be playing. So, you know, today I got to the office and I walked in and I told the staff, I said, you know, I'm excited. I'm coach, getting to coach a college basketball game today. Not many people get to do that. And they said the same thing. We say the same thing. So, you know, our energy in this facility has been nothing but positive. And, uh, um, and that's the way it's got to be. It's got to be. It can't be anything but that. Um, so in that sense, this year compared to the 8 and 20 North Carolina year are very different, I would imagine. Oh, yeah, they're different. It, you know, there's, I had 20 microphones in my face. Well, that's always been different here, but just in terms of the positivity that you still have here. Yeah, well, and that was different there, too. That was my second year, and I, I knew, you know, that year was going to be tough. I mean, I told my athletic director, I said, my first year we're going to be good, my second we're, we're not. And, you know, I don't think they believe me um, because I knew what was in pipeline so this this is you know every year is different every place is different every uh, but you know putting things in uh, you know perspective and understanding as a leader you know we went to London as a family and Churchill was uh, um, uh, stay calm and carry on I think that's his famous quote right Indiana grad should know that well he, he when, my brother went to Westminster where he gave the Iron Curtain speech Really? I don't know the quote. Really? That's all I know. But stay, you know, stay calm and carry on, or, or stay calm, calm, you know, be calm and carry on. You know, that's all that we can do. And because if you don't do that, we're not going to win. You know, if you don't do that, you're not going to win. So what's the best thing to put an inexperienced team in position? You know, I, I'm not going to beat them over the head. I'm going to, you know, we, Thursday, we shot for 30 minutes to music in Moody and showed them a highlight tape of them shooting the ball against TCU and some other games. And um, yesterday we had a great practice. And, um, you know, so you, you just take one day at a time. And I put myself in a blinders on and a silo. And, you know, you know, I'll watch the tape. We'll prepare for practice. We'll figure out if we're going to make any, you know, adjustments. And uh, I think we'll be ready to play on Wednesday. But it sounds like you're still confident that from where you're at now, even even in the future, you can get this program. There might not be 20 microphones, but maybe 10. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the goal. Oh, the goal is to have 20 microphones. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, it's one day at a time. It, it, it's one day at a time. And, and uh, that's the way i got to lead these guys and be f firm but positive. You know, last year's team, I'd manage it a little differently because they had six seniors. Um, so, uh, you know, each season, you got to give the team what it needs. And uh, sometimes this team needs a little love.